Hello everyone. I want to do a quick little art journal page in the 3x4 little jot notebook. Um, actually this page I am doing, it's this one, for one of my YouTube subscribers who, her name is Mixed Up Margie. Um, right before the hurricane hit us because of course you know I live in Florida and it was getting pretty bad internet was going in and out power was going in and out so <clears throat> excuse me I'm sorry I actually commented on one of my pages to Margie that um, I was having power issues and internet issues and hurricane issues um, that if anybody had commented or anything like that, um, that I was not ignoring you, that if she was able to, would please explain that um, this was what was happening. Because I'm, I'm grateful for my subscribers and the people who watch my videos. So she jumped right in and she says, yes, no problem, without a doubt. She didn't have to because she doesn't really know me from anyone. But YouTube is a community. And we all try to be there for each other. And we're all good people. So I'm going to do a little page for her. That says, you've got a friend. And that was, that meant so much. So the background I'm using, let me back out a little bit. Is this collage paper. Let me move it up. I'm sorry, I know my lighting is not all that great. But that's the one. And then everything comes out of both of these stacks. The confidence, bit of a quirk. That's the block number on the back. Um, let's see. I believe that's where I've got the two birds from. Anyway, I used this stack. Yep, there they are. And then I used this one. Okay, and that's the block number for that. So, without further ado, I'm going to make a page to say thank you to Mixed Up Margie on YouTube for letting me not have to worry a whole lot about my YouTube channel while I was worrying about everything else. So I'm going to move all this into my little tray here and start working on my page. They, some of these are so little, these pieces. All right, so I'm just going to glue this on here, and I'm just going to grab a glue, any glue. This is just a, this was empty, so I mixed up some old glues that I had. So that's what I'm going to do. Just going to put it on, move it around, spread it out. And then I'll just glue the page on. So I'll be right back when I'm done with that. Okay, now that it's cut out and dry, this is what our little page is looking like. But I need to add some yellow. I need to add some colors. Let me get those. I'll be right back. Okay, I have a Tim Holtz. I believe this is the burlap stencil and I'm going to put some yellow on there hopefully it'll be opaque enough to help break up some of that dark blue and everything I've just got a dollar store makeup sponge and I'll just put a little bit of yellow down hopefully it works if not then we just try something new it's not the end of the world 
I just want to break up some of the, the dark blue on here. And let's see what that looks like. Well, that's pretty cool. That's not bad. Wipe this off with a baby wipe. I'll dry that and we'll see what else we want to do. Okay, um, let's see. The yellow was just regular apple barrel yellow. Now I'm going to use candy pink. I'm going to put some little pink dots in here. And I'm not going to make it too hard. I'm just going to use the end of a paintbrush. That's all I'm going to do. Yeah, I'll just take it out of the lid. Why not? That way I don't have to do anything major. So, I'll just come through. Pick it up. Just add to the black that's already there. And, why not? And if there's too much in one spot, I will come back, pick that up, and just redeposit it. Just like that. And that's how we can alter whatever we want. Just the end of a paintbrush and some paint. Now, what I think I'm going to do, let me dry this because we, we really need some white. Alright, that's dry. Um, let's see if wait, the Signo works. I usually shake it because if it's been sitting for a while, it needs to be shook up or else it's not going to work. And your paper has to be cool and dry. So, there we go. And all I'm going to do is highlight. Uh, it's not wanting to work. Some of this design. And then I'll add some better circles around some of these dots. I need to hope I'm in frame here. Yeah, somewhat. There we go. That's a squeaky pen. That's weird. But that's alright. Alright, so. Yeah, why not? I'm just going to put some little squiggles around the side. Not anything perfect, that's for sure. That doesn't appeal to me a whole lot because then it just becomes too stressful. When you try for the perfect, oh my goodness, my little... Squiggle marks don't match. They're not perfect. Which is fine. Alright. There we go. Let me grab my pieces. And I need my tweezers. Because of course some of these are really little pieces. Alright. I could have cut around the white. But why? Alright. So let me lay down. See what I made by little? That's little. Some of these little pieces in these paper packs. But they work for little projects like this. <clears throat> and it's just a, a small thank you. It's 
it was nice that she just went ahead and said yes no problem don't worry you know it's almost like don't worry about it i got your back even though i don't know you but that's what good people are and i appreciate her for helping me out so i've got my barely art precision glue and i'm just going to put a little glue down i'm not looking for perfection i don't do that very well and spread it around pretty good. Just push it down. I like this glue because it does grab fast and this little tiny precision tip is really neat. For when you want to do detailed things, I guess. Yep, she's she's a neat YouTube artist. She's I like watching her. You should go check her out. Very sweet lady. She likes to think outside the box, which I think is really neat. Plus, she was kind enough to help me. Without question. So this page is for Margie. Hopefully we get to know each other a lot better in the years to come on YouTube. All right, there's so much more we can do. I can go around, highlight a lot of the two birds. Um, I don't want it to be too long. But I just wanted to say thank you and I appreciate you for your help that you did give me so that I didn't have to worry that people would think that I wasn't paying attention to their comment. All right, um, that's it. There you go, Margie. You've got a friend and I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. God bless for now. Have a great day.